Red Hat has had from day one. So I thought, okay, well, I'll prototype something. The whole thing about our community is that we work by collaborating. Turns out that being remote is not that much different from my already existing workflow. I spend a lot of time collaborating with people both inside and outside of the company. We're spread out around the world. It's turned out to, to be uh, not that different from being in an office with the exception of lunch. <laughs> my name is Chris Wright and I work on virtualization, mostly at the lower levels in kernel and hypervisor area. The topics were primarily around uh, what we've been doing, what's going on in RHEL right now, and then our new, our new project that we're working on, which is called Overt. Uh, so the Overt session was probably uh, standing room only, high, you know, well attended, and generated a lot of interesting questions. We're trying to bring our platform forward into the data center in a way that makes it highly manageable uh, to the scale that data centers require. So the first steps in, in RHEL virtualization were really just bringing the underlying technology to the platform. Now we want to give them all the tools they need to manage their entire data center, to give them the, you know, the ability to move their, their workloads around their data center, help them provision, help and do all this from, uh, the, with the ease of a distributed tool that doesn't require you to actually have a hands-on uh, touch to each physical host that you're trying to manage within your whole data center. In general, I think they're really excited to see open source bring a virtualization platform to the market as opposed to relying on uh, the standard proprietary vendor. The collaboration effort was about defining what the problems were and then figuring out the right solutions. We sort of mirror the external community by being all over the place working primarily through email and IRC and, and things like that. Uh, the community itself is again uh, distributed, so everything is happening in a tr traditional open source way on mailing lists and uh, throwing ideas out, working together to figure out what the best solution is. We're trying to bring ourselves into a position where we can adapt to that rapidly moving hardware platform and provide all of that value that's coming out of the hardware to our customers.